There's been a lot said about how driverless cars are going to change our lives. But it turns out driverless cars might also change the way we die. Right now, there's over 100,000 Americans waiting for an organ transplant. Turns out you could fill Yankee Stadium twice with all the people who need an organ transplant right now. And every year, more than 6,000 of those people on the list die. And another 4,000 people get told to f off because they're too sick that even an organ transplant won't help. And if that doesn't sound enough, remember that chronic diseases like kidney disease disproportionately affect minority communities. And secondly, remember that the donation system favours rich people who can afford to game the system. So for example, if you're a rich person looking for a liver, you can afford to be assessed at multiple liver centres, including those overseas, and therefore get put on multiple transplant lists. Basically, if you're a poor person on the organ transplant list, your odds of living aren't what you might call good. The best you can do is pray that someone matching your physiology donates their organs. Now, who donates organs? Dead people! And not just any dead people. You have to be a basically healthy, kind of youngish person that's killed through a thing called brain death. You know all those people who die dramatically on television after their heart stops and they get shocked with the paddles? That's usually a heart death, and generally those people can't donate. And then there's all those people who die of old age or die of infections like HIV or die of cancer. Generally, those people can't donate either because their organs are already house. It turns out that one of the most reliable sources of healthy organs and tissues are the more than 35,000 people who are killed each year in car accidents. In fact, right now, about one in every five organ donors is the victim of a car crash. That's why the DMV asks you if you want to be a donor. And now that's all well and good, but right now, the fact is that most car crashes happen because of a thing called human error. People get drunk and drive, or they drive too fast, or they misjudge the traffic, whatever. And if you take away human error, you also take away thousands of potential organ donors. Now, I'm not saying that we should make cars purposely dangerous so that more people die. Making things needlessly dangerous so that people die is what we have the NRA for. But driverless cars are coming soon. And scientists predict that when we eliminate human drivers, we'll also come close to eliminating car crashes, and therefore car deaths. And that means more poor minorities are going to die from chronic illness because they can't get a transplant. So what can we do about this problem? Well, first of all, call your next of kin right now and tell them that you want to donate your organs. Even if you've ticked that little box on your driver's license, it's still usually your next of kin that get to decide what to do with you after you die in a car crash. And if they're not sure, they might decide to not donate your organs. So go on, call them, text them, tweet them right now. Here's a moment of elevator music for you to make the same call. Go on. Thanks everyone. Now, even if everyone watching this agrees to donate their organs, it doesn't help if no one actually dies. Now again, I think it's great if driverless cars help prevent car crashes, but we're going to need to find an alternative form of organs really soon if we want to save all of those people that are on the transplant list. So what should we do? Support basic science. Waiting for people to die so that we can harvest their organs is a really terrible way of solving chronic illnesses. It would be much better if we could, say, grow organs in a lab, like these scientists at a company called eGenesis, who are trying to grow human organs in pigs so that you get a new liver and a delicious bacon breakfast. <laughs> now, that research started at Harvard. But the pigs had to be raised in China because US regulations against science are too restrictive. Or what about these scientists in California who, instead of growing organs in pigs, are using basic knowledge of cell physiology to make organs grow within the patient themselves, which would completely eliminate the need for transplants. 
Now, all of these technologies are still many, many, many years away from being used in you if you got sick of liver disease today. So support basic science now. You don't have to donate money. All you have to do is take five minutes to call your local representative. Don't worry if you're too lazy to look them up, that's okay, all the links are below. And when you call them, just say this. Hello, my name is X and as your constituent, I'd like you to support funding for the Center for Disease Control or the CDC, the US Department of Agriculture or the USDA, the National Institute of Health or the NIH, and the National Science Foundation or the NSF. Thank you. Now this is serious people, joking aside, if we don't find an alternative way of curing illnesses or harvesting organs before driverless cars hit the roads, more people will die, particularly minorities and the poor. So please just take five minutes to call your local representative and support basic science. All the links you need are in the description below. Now, if you like this video and psych you, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or leave a comment just to say g'day. And if you don't like this episode, would really love it if you could keep that to yourself. But since you've made it this far, why not call your congressman anyway? Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.